Hey guys, it's Mrs. Buffo here. We're gonna work on a new project discussing again the use of space in art, specifically foreground, middle ground, and background. We're gonna do this with a layered image that I think you're really gonna like. Yes, we get to use our watercolor paints. How excited are you? I'm sure excited and I hope that you enjoy this project. Let's quick review. I know it says new concept, but it's a review. Space is defined in art as the visual and physical layout within an object. We're going to use the idea of foreground, middle ground, and background in our image. You see how there is very clearly a tree in the front, a tree in the middle, and a tree in the back? We're going to do something like this. The goal of step one is simply to draw three different trees, and we're gonna try and draw the ground and the outline along with it. Don't worry if you get confused or if you mess up. That's why God gave us erasers, right? Sometimes our mistakes can actually make our artwork look the most beautiful. So take some time and draw these three layers. In step two, we take out our fine point Sharpie markers. Believe it or not, fine point is actually the one that's a little bit thicker. And we're gonna overline everything that we've done. I want you to notice how the farther back in my picture they are, the smaller the trees actually are. Take a look at how I really changed this last tree with my permanent marker. Then I'm gonna clean up my image with an eraser really make it look like we have a front, middle, and back, we're going to use something called atmospheric perspective. In art, this is defined as a method of creating an illusion of depth in an image. It's usually done by modulating the tints and the shades of a single hue. In this case, I'm going to use green. Oh, the most exciting part, let's take out our paints. Remind yourself to prep your paint before you use it. That means dip your paintbrush into the water, put little droplets of water in each palette that you plan on using. This will prep it, it'll water, waterize that paint to make it nice and spreadable. You can see I've used green in these three portions of the image. My foreground is the darkest, my middle ground is my medium green, and the light green is gonna be the farthest away from me. And I'm using some blues. You can see that I am smooshing that in with extra water to create that nice blue background. There you have it. Foreground, midground, and background, all smushed in using atmospheric perspective, using our wonderful watercolor paints, and using different ideas on mistakes. Are mistakes bad? No, they're just proof that we're trying new things, okay? So keep that growth mindset up, and I can't wait to see what you create with this wonderful project.